So, I'm going to kick off this live stream uh, with an answer. I'm going to start with an answer for a question that hasn't been asked, um, but it probably has been asked on this channel before, and that is, is it easier to become a pen tester or a cyber security analyst? Now, for those of you who are in, say, the US, uh, the UK, or Australia, um, and even India, I'm sure there's a few uh, people from India in the in the live stream at the moment. Um, this question does come up a fair bit, and it's a question that sort of relates to uh, what sort of, I guess, if you want to get a job straight away. Now, the last time I did one of these live streams um, two weeks ago was um, was about different entry level positions that you can get started with and uh, how much experience is required. And you might have noticed that across the board, across different countries, the uh, the highest uh, entry level position with the lowest amount of experience was in the blue team side. It was, uh, there was governance, risk and compliance and the security uh, analyst or engineer positions. So based on um, that information, I would pretty much definitely be saying that um, I would, I would say it's easier, and I've seen this happen more often than not, that it is easier to get into cybersecurity if you are entering into the blue team side. Now, blue team is, is such a great entry uh, into cybersecurity because you do learn some actual like pen testing stuff as well. It's not all about, you know, jumping in and breaking into systems and, and all the rest of it. That's, that's just pen testing itself, and that's that's just one small piece of cybersecurity. The biggest part of cybersecurity is actually on the defensive side, and it's because those guys on the defensive side are always on the back step trying to defend different systems with, say for example, there's like a developer who has created a, a new system and uh, he's, just, he's decided to make it go production, right? And this does happen. This isn't just like a a random like, oh, you know, that, that would never happen. It it absolutely happens, trust me. And um, that system is potentially very vulnerable. Now, the blue team guys are going to see the alerts popping up for that machine and the open ports and, you know, whatever else is vulnerable on that machine. And they'll see those logs coming through on the seam. Now, the seam is, is going to, you know, throw out alerts and potentially do some patching for that machine automatically, which is great. But... There is still quite a lot of work required on the blue team side, which is why there are more blue team roles out there. And blue team also covers a, a bunch of other areas, which sometimes even include uh, some purple team type stuff where you're, you're doing your know, pen testing or um, a security, internal security audit of a, a system. So that's um, that's basically how those uh, those blue team roles come about and why there's more of them out there and why I believe that getting into a defensive security or blue team or cyber analyst slash engineer position is oftentimes uh, a better entry in the beginning than say jumping straight into pen testing. Now on the back of that I will do a very short bit of promo here which is that um, on the Safer Internet project um, which is the saferinternetproject.com if some of the mods could just paste that into the chat um, the Safe Internet Project is a learning platform for members to learn various different uh, pen testing as well as blue team techniques. Now, we go out to uh, real business clients and we ask them uh, if we can pen test their system. And what we do is myself or the other director of that company uh, perform those pen tests and you guys get to shadow us while we do them. There's learning modules to teach you exactly how to do stuff. And then after a, a period of time, once you've completed the verification process, you get to do some of those pen tests uh, yourself, which is awesome. That's um that's sort of exactly what you want. Now, not only is there pen tests, I've recently in the last week and um, while I was sick and, and sort of feeling sorry for myself, I, um, I decided to bring in some blue team modules into this, which is something that I believe has never actually been done. So what I've done is I've created a virtual security operation center or a VSOC um, with a, a full seam and I'm adding in hosts into that seam to be able to create learning modules based off uh, blue team techniques. So not only do you get uh, access to learn how to pen test and pen test actual business systems, you also get 
to do the whole blue team security analyst stuff. So if you're looking for experience in blue team or red team, uh, head on over to the saferinternetproject.com. Check out the website, uh, have a look around, ask me any questions you like uh, on the website chat. There's a chat thing there that goes straight to my phone. Um, so do ask any questions you, you feel that you want to ask and I'll, um, I'll answer them as best I can.